before we begin, find a comfortable place where you can sit or lie down without interruptions. Gently close your eyes and take three deep breaths to center yourself in the here and now. As your breathing becomes calmer and deeper, I will ask you some questions that may resonate with your subconscious. You don't need to answer right away. Simply allow the questions to settle in your mind and heart. First, let's think about how money has moved in your lives. Do you remember any time when money was a cause of worry or conflict in your home? When spending money, have you ever felt guilt or fear? Can you feel that emotion now? Where does it come from? What emotions do you feel? when you have to pay for something unexpected. Anxiety, fear, anger. These questions are designed to begin to understand your automatic reactions to money, which are often rooted in past experiences and subconscious beliefs. If money were a friend or enemy, how would you describe that relationship? Is it a relationship of trust? or mistrust, of love, or fear. With these questions, we seek to illuminate how you see money on an emotional and subconscious level and how that affects every aspect of your lives. In the comments of this video, I would love for you to share a limiting belief about money that you heard from your parents or caregivers when you were children. Recognizing these beliefs is the first step in transforming our relationship with money. Welcome to Conscious Mind, I am Jordi, and today I invite you to a journey into the depths of your relationship with money.
Imagine you're in a quiet and safe space where each breath takes you deeper into your consciousness. As you continue to relax, I want you to go back in time to specific moments in your life. Now visualize a recent moment when you spent money. It can be any purchase, large or small. See that moment clearly in your mind. Observe where you are, what you are buying, and how you feel at that instant. Take a deep breath and allow yourself to really feel those emotions. Is it satisfaction, guilt, joy, or perhaps regret? Now, move your mind a bit further back in time to a moment where you feel you really wasted money. Maybe it was an impulsive purchase, something you didn't need or that you never used again. Observe that moment. Visualize it as if you were there again. Feel what you felt then. What emotions emerge? Do you notice any pattern between these moments? Continue breathing gently and allow yourself to fully feel these emotions without judging them. Just observe. It is important to recognize these emotions as they are key to understanding your relationship with money. As you maintain these images in your mind, ask yourself, what do these moments teach me about my relationship with money? How do these emotions influence my financial decisions? Now gently, let those images and emotions fade away and bring your attention back to the present. With each inhalation, feel how you can start to free yourself from those patterns. With each exhalation, release those emotions, knowing that each moment offers you a new opportunity to choose how you interact with money. Allow yourself this time to reflect and connect more deeply with your emotions and financial decisions. Continue 
continue breathing deeply, allowing each inhalation to bring you more calm and each exhalation to free you from tensions. As you find yourself in this state of relaxation and awareness, I want you to reflect more deeply on the spending moments you visualized. Think about what you bought during those moments. Were they things you really needed? Or were they impulsive purchases motivated by emotions of the moment? Try to understand how these expenses reflect your priorities or the impulses you had at that instant. For example, if you remember buying something to feel better about yourself or to impress others, this may indicate that at that moment your decisions were influenced by the pursuit of external approval or by a desire for external self-improvement instead of a real need. Now, if your purchases were planned, things you really needed and had considered carefully, this reflects a priority towards practicality and responsibility. Observe these patterns. Do your impulsive purchases coincide with moments of stress, sadness or anxiety? Do your more conscious and planned purchases happen when you feel calm and in control? This exercise is not to judge you, but to help you know yourself better and understand how your emotions and moods can influence your financial behavior. By being aware of these influences, you can start to make decisions more aligned with your true needs and long-term goals. Remember, each spending decision is a reflection of what you value at that moment. By becoming aware of this, you can start to align your expenses with your true values and priorities, which is a crucial step towards a more healthy and conscious financial life. Keep your breathing calm and deep, feeling how each inhalation brings you clarity and each exhalation 
allows you to let go of accumulated tensions. In this space of peace and reflection, we will explore more deeply your current relationship with money. Think about how you see money in your life at this moment. Do you perceive it as something that is always missing? That is never enough? That quickly slips through your fingers? Or on the contrary, do you feel that money is abundant? That it flows to you easily and is always available when you need it? Now reflect on what money represents to you. Is it a source of security that allows you to sleep peacefully at night, knowing that you can face any unforeseen events? Or is it a constant source of anxiety and worry, a reminder of what you have not yet achieved, or of the debts you need to pay? Allow yourself to really feel these emotions and perceptions. There are no right or wrong answers here. Each sensation and thought you have about money is valid and offers clues about your current relationship with it. Also, consider how these perceptions affect your daily behavior. If you see money as scarce, do you find yourself avoiding necessary expenses or perhaps hoarding things for fear of not having enough in the future? If you see it as abundant, do you feel free to invest in your dreams? and share with others without fear of running out of resources. This part of the meditation is crucial for beginning to understand and eventually transform your relationship with money. By being conscious of how you perceive it, you can start to change those perceptions that do not serve you and create a healthier, more positive relationship with money. One that supports your true needs and aspirations. Continue with your calm and deep breathing. As you explore these perceptions of money, I invite you now to reflect on how they influence your daily behavior and your financial decisions.
Imagine how every day you interact with money. Think about your purchase decisions, how you manage your savings, your investments, and how you face debts. Observe if your actions are aligned with the perception of abundance or scarcity you have of money. If you tend to see money as something scarce, you might notice that you are extremely cautious when spending, even to the point of denying yourself things you really need or want. You may avoid taking financial risks, even when they could be beneficial, for fear of losing what little you have. On the other hand, if you perceive money as abundant, it could be reflected in greater confidence when making investments or in generosity when sharing with others. However, it could also lead you to be less careful with expenses, always trusting that more money will be available, which sometimes can result in imprudent financial decisions. Think about how these attitudes affect not only your current financial situation, but also your long-term goals. Are your habits and financial decisions helping you build the life you want? Or are they hindering your progress towards your dreams? Now, I invite you to delve even deeper into your relationship with money, exploring how your earliest beliefs about it were formed. As you continue breathing deeply, bring your attention to memories of your childhood. Think about your family and the environment in which you grew up. What messages about money do you remember hearing? Maybe phrases like, money doesn't grow on trees. You have to work hard to earn money or the rich are greedy. Observe what conversations, attitudes or situations related to money were common in your home. Visualize a specific moment from your childhood where the topic of money was present. It could be a discussion between your parents about finances, a time when they told you they couldn't buy you something you wanted, or even a positive memory where a special purchase or a good investment was celebrated.
reflect on how these experiences and messages impacted you. What emotions do you feel when remembering these moments? How do you think these early impressions about money have influenced the way you manage your finances today? These memories and the associated messages may have planted deep beliefs in your mind, some of which might be limiting your financial potential without you even realizing it. Recognizing and understanding these beliefs is the first step toward transforming your relationship with money, allowing you to adopt a healthier and more empowering perspective. By confronting and revisiting these childhood beliefs, you have the opportunity to question them and redefine them. You can choose to keep those that are useful and challenge or change those that limit your financial and personal growth. This is a crucial step for freeing yourself from old patterns and building a new financial reality for yourself. While you continue in this state of calm and reflection, I invite you to consider how those early beliefs about money, those voices and messages you absorbed during your childhood, might still be influencing your attitudes and financial decisions today. Think about the recent financial decisions you have made. Can you see any link between those decisions and the beliefs you formed as a child? Perhaps you find yourself avoiding certain financial risks due to a fear instilled from a young age. Or maybe you strive excessively to accumulate savings because you grew up in an environment where money was always considered scarce and precious. Reflect also on your attitudes towards money. Do you feel constantly worried about money, regardless of your current financial situation? Or perhaps you are too liberal with your spending, acting against the caution you were taught? These attitudes can be echoes of the lessons learned in your early years. It is important to recognize that these early beliefs can act as subconscious scripts, directing your actions and reactions without you fully realizing it. 
By becoming aware of these influences, you can begin to question them and assess whether they really serve your interests and current goals. Ask yourself, do these beliefs support me in building a healthy and prosperous financial life? Do they contribute to my well-being and that of my family? If you find that some of these beliefs are limiting or negative, consider how you could reformulate them to reflect a more positive and empowering relationship with money. This is a moment to allow yourself a new understanding and possibly a new beginning in your relationship with money. By reviewing and updating your beliefs, you are laying the foundations for making financial decisions that not only reflect your true values and aspirations, but also lead you toward the abundance and prosperity you desire and deserve. Continue with your smooth and regular breathing, maintaining a state of deep relaxation. Now, we will direct our attention toward a visualization exercise that will help us understand money from a broader and more conceptual perspective. Imagine that you are in a tranquil place, an empty and serene space. In this place, you begin to see how money is created, not just as bills or coins, but as a concept, an idea that takes shape before your eyes. First, visualize a large machine, a money printing press. Observe how the bills are printed, cut and distributed. Each bill represents an agreement, a promise of value that people accept and recognize among themselves. Observe how this process transforms simple sheets of paper into powerful mediums of exchange. Now, move your focus away from the machine and start to see money as a belief, a social construct. Visualize people exchanging these bills, each transaction based on the shared faith that that paper has value. Think about how this mutual agreement sustains and gives life to the concept of money within a community, a nation, 
and the world. Reflect on how this belief in the value of money facilitates relationships, trade, and the economy on a large scale. How, through our collective trust, money acquires power and influence. Now imagine that you can modify this belief. Visualize that you can infuse new ideas and values into this social construct of money. Think about values such as fairness, sustainability, and shared responsibility. Observe how these new ideas could change the way money works and affects our lives and society. This visualization exercise allows you to see that money, beyond being simply physical, is a human creation based on faith and trust. By understanding this, you can begin to see how you have the power to change your relationship with money and how it operates in your life and in society. By modifying your beliefs and attitudes toward money, you can influence its creation and its function on a much deeper level. While maintaining that image of the creation of money, both physical and conceptual, in your mind, we will delve a little further into how this visualization can be linked to emotions of empowerment and possibility. Focus on the sensation of power that comes from understanding that money is a human creation, something that we have collectively decided to give value to. Recognize that, just as this reality has been built, it also has the potential to be changed or influenced by ideas and actions. Think about the possibility that arises when you realize that you can change your personal relationship with money and possibly influence how others perceive and use money. Feel the empowerment that comes from knowing that you are not tied to old or limiting beliefs about money that may have dominated your life until now.
Now visualize how you adopt a more active and conscious attitude toward money. Imagine that you are injecting positive values such as generosity, prudence, and gratitude into your handling of money. Observe how these emotions and attitudes transform daily transactions. From shopping at the local market to long-term investment decisions. Feel how this new understanding frees you from old fears and restrictions. You are creating a new financial reality where money is not only a medium of exchange but also a tool for well-being and community improvement. Money in your hands becomes a catalyst for positive change and personal and collective development. By associating these ideas with emotions of empowerment and possibility, you reinforce in your mind and heart the belief that you have control over how you interact with money and the impact it can have on your life and on others. By transforming your relationship with money in this way, you are not only changing your finances but also contributing to a broader change in the way money is understood and used in society. Continue breathing deeply, feeling how each inhalation fills you with calm and each exhalation frees you from tensions and worries. Now we will focus on a deeply rooted and powerful concept deservingness. I want you to ask yourself, sincerely and without judging yourself, do you feel deserving of wealth and abundance? Allow yourself to explore this question. It's not just a matter of whether you believe you should have more money, but whether you feel worthy of receiving all types of abundance that life has to offer. Whether it be love, health, success, or financial prosperity. Think about the times you have rejected opportunities or avoided seeking improvements in your life because something inside felt that you didn't deserve it. Observe if those occasions are connected with deep beliefs about your worth or about what you deserve in life. Now, imagine a scenario in which you fully accept that you are deserving of wealth and abundance. Visualize how your behavior changes when you operate from a state of deservingness. How do you interact with others? 
What decisions do you make about your career, your finances, and your personal life when you feel that you deserve the best? This visualization is not just an exercise in imagination. It is a step towards reprogramming your mind to accept the abundance you deserve. By feeling deserving, you begin to attract more opportunities and open up to the prosperity that the universe has to offer. Allow yourself now to feel that sensation of deservingness. Let it fill every part of your being. With each inhalation, imagine that you are drawing abundance towards you. With each exhalation, release any doubt or guilt that has made you feel unworthy in the past. This is a crucial step towards transforming your relationship with money and with abundance in all its forms by cultivating and embracing a deep sense of deservingness. You prepare yourself to receive and enjoy all the blessings that life has in store for you. Now that you have begun to open up to the idea that you are deserving of abundance and wealth, let's delve deeper into how this feeling of deservingness is not just a right, but a profound reflection of your self-esteem and self-worth. Feel how each breath helps you internalize this idea. Deserving abundance is an affirmation of your own value. It is not merely a desire or an aspiration, but a central belief about your worth as an individual. When you truly value yourself, you begin to understand that deserving the best is not something you need to earn or justify. It is something natural that arises from recognizing your own value. This recognition directly influences how you present yourself in the world, how you choose to live your life and how you manage your finances. Think about how your daily decisions would change 
if each action were grounded in a firm belief in your own worth? How would you negotiate your salary? How would you invest your money? How would you spend on yourself and others? Each of these decisions would be a reflection of your self-esteem and self-worth. Allow yourself now to visualize a life where every financial choice you make strengthens this sense of deservingness. Imagine that each expense, investment, or saving is a statement of your worth. Observe how this approach not only improves your financial well-being, but also enriches your emotional and relational life. Reinforce this notion within you. Deserving abundance is a reflection of how you see and value yourself. By cultivating and maintaining high levels of self-esteem and self-worth, not only do you open yourself up to financial prosperity, but you also enhance your quality of life in all areas. This is the power of deservingness. By accepting and embracing your innate right to abundance, you are choosing to live a life that is full and rich in all its forms. Continue breathing deeply. As this powerful truth settles in your heart and mind, strengthening every aspect of your being, Continuing with our meditation, now let's focus on the concept of reciprocity and the value we bring to the world. This idea reminds us that the interactions and transactions in our lives are not one directional. Instead, they reflect a constant flow of giving and receiving. Think about how we are what we give. Each action you take, each word you say, and each penny you spend or invest carries a piece of you, an expression of your values and of what you consider important. These actions and decisions not only impact the outside world, but also define who you are by giving positively, by offering the best of yourself to the world, you reinforce your own essence and contribute to building a more positive and enriching environment. Consider how, 
we receive according to the value we bring to the world. This is not simply an economic exchange, but a deep interaction of energy and value. When you contribute your talents, time, and resources genuinely and selflessly, the world often responds in kind. This can manifest in opportunities, relationships, and yes, in financial prosperity. Allow yourself to visualize how your contributions to the world come back to you in ways you might not have expected. Imagine that you are planting seeds with every good action and every conscious decision. Over time, these seeds grow and blossom, returning to you in abundance. This cycle of giving and receiving is fundamental in the creation of a rich and full life. Reflect on the areas of your life where you can increase your contribution, not just in financial terms, but also in creativity, kindness, and leadership. Think about how you can be more generous with your time and attention towards others. Observe how, by doing so, you not only enrich the lives of others, but also strengthen your own sense of value and purpose. By focusing on reciprocity and the value you bring you can transform your relationship with money and with the world by living according to the principle that we are what we give and that we receive according to the value we bring. You open a path towards a life of genuine and meaningful abundance, both materially and spiritually. While you continue breathing gently, I invite you to reflect on how you can bring value to the world in a way that truly reflects and respects your personal values. Think about the skills, talents, and passions you possess. Each one of us has unique gifts and a special perspective to offer. Consider how you can use these gifts to contribute to your community, your workplace, or even to a more global sphere. It could be through volunteering, starting a project that you are passionate about, or simply by carrying out your daily job with integrity and excellence. Each conscious and directed action 
creates ripples that not only benefit others, but also return value, recognition, and opportunities to you. Reflect also on how these actions aligned with your personal values can attract abundance to your life. Abundance doesn't always manifest as material wealth. Often, it appears as enriching relationships, new opportunities, a greater sense of satisfaction, and a fuller, more meaningful life. As we conclude this meditation, take with you the understanding that money and abundance are much more than numbers in a bank account. They are reflections of how we interact with the world, how we value ourselves and others, and how we embody our values through our daily actions. Allow yourself a few more moments to breathe deeply, feeling the peace and clarity that this meditation has brought you. When you are ready, slowly open your eyes, taking with you the sense of empowerment and the determination to align your financial and personal actions with your deepest values. Remember, every small action counts and every step you take towards living according to your values attracts more abundance and satisfaction to your life. Carry this feeling of purpose and possibility with you today and in all your future days. Thank you for allowing me to accompany you on this journey of reflection and discovery. As we approach the end of our meditation, I invite you to take a few moments to reflect in silence on everything you have explored and felt today. Consider how the ideas about money, abundance, deservingness and reciprocity can influence your life in profound and meaningful ways. Think about the insights you have discovered about your relationship with money, the limiting beliefs you might want to change, and the ways you can align your financial actions with your deepest personal values. Reflect on how each choice you make can be a reflection of who you are and what you truly value. Now, as 
as you slowly return to your environment and open your eyes. I encourage you to carry these reflections with you. Don't let these ideas and feelings fade away, like the echoes of a dream upon waking. Instead, think about how you can apply this new understanding in your daily life. Remember that every small step in the direction of your values contributes to a richer and more satisfying life. Don't underestimate the power of small, consistent changes. Whether it's adjusting your spending, re-evaluating your sources of income, or simply cultivating a more grateful and conscious attitude towards money, each action counts. I leave you with these words of encouragement. You are the architect of your financial and personal life. With each decision, you have the power to build a reality that reflects your true values and aspirations. Walk forward with the confidence that you deserve abundance and happiness, and that each step you take in this direction brings you closer to a full and prosperous life. Thank you for dedicating this time to deeply connect with your finances and your values. I hope this meditation has provided clarity and motivation to continue cultivating a healthy and empowering relationship with money.